Hello guys, aren't I looking attractive right now? So we are about to do, or you're about to see me do my review on Eye Magic. It is an instant eyeshadow. It's called Feel the Magic. And it's the pearl shades. It's by Magic Beauty. It is essentially an eyeshadow sticker. Before we get straight into it though, you know the drill. Please like and subscribe. Hit that little red button down below and see what I feel about these eye little instant eyeshadows. You can't get over how weird I look with just like bottom mascara, <laughs> no top mascara. I'm going to read the instructions out to you. Apply. 1. Import a closed eyelid and raise your eyebrow to give a flat surface for that application. Using both hands, hold the eye magic applicator firmly on the base of the eyelid for approximately 4 seconds. While applying firm comfortable pressure, slide the applicator across your eyelid in the appropriate direction to achieve a sharp look. Use the same applicator to blend if necessary. For a different look, you can apply a second applicator of a different colour over the existing eyeshadow to achieve a unique style. Tip. Any user error can easily be corrected by blending with the applicator. Mm -hmm. It's paraben free, at least that's something. However, it has mica and talc and alcohol in it. And a whole bunch of other horrible, <laughs> mostly horrible ingredients. Um, it is Australian owned and designed, manufactured in Thailand. Aren't even flipping open this. Oh, let's open it from the correct end. I have two sets. So this is how they come. So they're nice and sealed, obviously. Comes on like that little foam applicator and this looks like it is white, green, and black. <clears throat> I'm assuming we're doing black at the bottom. Are we ready to ruin my makeup? I'm actually going out after this, but I am already like mentally prepared to like lose my makeup. Well, I'm assuming this is for this side. Close eyelid to raise, then raise your eyebrow to give a flat surface with that application using both hands. I'm assuming it's like that. So I have to hold it there for four seconds then slide. As you can tell, I have a lot of faith this is going to look great. By the way, my makeup looks terrible. I've worn it for so long. And I'm going to like zoom you in. Hey. Okay, let's do it. Well, I kind of have to have my eye closed. Close eye, raise eyebrow. Essentially, you want to give me frown lines, thank you. And now, I've got to get you onto my eye. Okay, we're doing this. One, two. And then, oh, I see color. Drag. I look like I look. I look. I look terrible. <laughs> I went about as well as I expected it. <laughs> so that's how much of the eyeshadow is still on. That's my eye. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it would go better than that. I'm going to try and place it further. In, like closer into my inner eye because I think that was one of the issues. Now with pressure still on, I'm going to drag. Hey, more of it came off this time. I have a second lot, so I think we'll take it off and have another go. Just so you do know, I gave it a fair shot. I have the Sharnexo setting color from her palette on with the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, apart from the obvious situation here, I've got some serious fallout. This one is obviously a lot further out. This one's very far in. It gets mostly down to the eye base, but I'm missing half the eyeshadow on the inner lid. It's kind of blended bef between like the dark green and the middle green. Apart from the fact that my entire eye is just shimmer. Guess maybe we can like ruin one of my blending brushes and see whether I can blend it out. Take it into the crease. So blending shadow is not a good idea. It literally just completely blends away into like green murkiness. Look, I don't think there's anything I could do to save this. I'm going to go get a uh, reset so I can redo this a second time and see if it's still just as much of a fail. I'll put my eyeshadow primer on again. It's got to be a fair test. I cannot wait to wash my face off tonight. I've had my makeup on since like seven in the morning. I am feeling officially gross. I just have this like stuck everywhere. So I'm not a fan of this product right now. I'm going to now get the second lot of stencils. Fingers crossed this will maybe, maybe be more successful. I need to try and go in the middle of what I did last time. It was like too far and too out both times. 
Wow, this side, obviously like I've got a massive wing, but all the times I've done it, it's been very patchy in the middle. When I blink, I get glitter falling out. Apart from the obvious fact, I think the stencils are too big for my eyes. I guess it's meant to be like your eyebrow highlight, I guess, but it just doesn't quite work with my eye shape if you draw it out. And then I definitely have a problem with the fact that it's all glitter and significant problem with the fact of the colours, though there are other colour variations. And a big problem with the fact that like you can still definitely see the colour lines. Though I have to say that the silver and the dark green do kind of fall into my crease. There's a problem with the outer edges, so I guess like I could go through and like clean it up. So I'm going to try and blend out just the top and not touch that green. That looks nicer. Use the same applicator to blend if necessary. Not the easiest thing in the world to use. It's actually kind of making it look patchier at the end. We should do our roundup right now. Oh, and actually I'm going to put mascara on. I don't know why. Well, it definitely looks better with mascara on. But so if you've watched the video, I think it's completely obvious how I feel about these. I think they are completely, what's the word, gimmicky. The colours do not help. Like, no matte colour whatsoever, all shimmery, and the shimmer isn't that pigmented. And it's kind of, like, the fallout is insane. And the gradation between them is negligible. There wasn't a single application I did which actually didn't, like, patch up in certain areas. Um, this is the pearl shades. Maybe there's a matte version. I just don't think the quality of the eyeshadow is that good either. I thought that I'd be able to make it work, honestly. Like, I had, I had zero expectations. Like, okay, that's a lie. I thought these were going to be bad. I thought, I thought they would be going to be fine enough that I could use them, get them on my eyes and then blend out the crease. I just thought it would be blendable and workable. I just don't think these are workable. If you're bad at eyeshadow, either skip eyeshadow or get a single colour, put it on your eye, blend out the crease. You'll be better off than doing this. Just don't. Do not recommend these whatsoever unless you want to have a gimmicky fun time trying out instant eyeshadows. That is my review. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't something that was very successful, but it was definitely interesting and fun. Thank you, and see you later. Bye. I have two hands. How am I meant to do two hands?